Hi folks, this is Jake, Hope you're okay today. Uh, we're looking at this book, E.P. Sanders, uh, The Historical Figure of Jesus, and uh, published by Alan Lane Penguin Press. E.P. Saunders is one of the great scholars uh, in historical Jesus figure studies. Um, and I don't fully agree with him. Uh, he didn't believe in the full inspiration of the Bible, as I do. But you can't even begin to be uh, a decent scholar unless you have read or engaged with E.P. Saunders. And I find a lot of the internet atheist uh, scholars like Dr. Richard Carrier and Dr. Price and people like that and many of the internet atheists and skeptics, they're not really in tune with what's happening in the scholarly world at, at an academic level on historical Jesus studies. So we're just going to read a bit of this. Um, and have a few videos on, on this. Jesus was born when Rome was supreme over the eastern Mediterranean. A Roman administrator ordered his execution. For most of his life, however, he had not been subject to direct orders from Roman officials. We shall so examine the political environment in which he lived and worked since we need to know who had authority over various aspects of life in the different parts of Palestine. There was a threefold division of power during the late twenties and early thirties. Herod of Antipas was the Tetrarch of Galilee in Perea. Pontius Pilate was the Prefect of Judea, which at this time included three geographical regions, Samaria, Judea and uh, Idumea. Joseph Caiaphas was the High Priest in Jerusalem, and this division will be easier to understand if we begin with a short, short, short survey of the political political history that led up to it. First, however, I shall introduce the man whose writings provide most of our information about the Palestine in Jesus' day.